Last week, Steve Bukala stepped down from his job as police chief in Lowell. That, he says, was for upholding the Constitution. 13 On Your Side's John Hogan spoke with Bukala about his departure and what he says fueled it. A GoFundMe page has been set up for Lowell's former police chief. Now he says he was forced to resign on June 4th. Steve Bukula says he was forced to resign just days after a controversial post that talked about four young men who planned to open carry in Lowell. These four young men armed walking the streets were hypersensitive because they didn't want what happened in Grand Rapids to happen in their town. After learning of their plans, Bukula said he and city manager Michael Burns decided to post something on social media to let people know what was going to happen. The last line that he was referring to was the Lowell Police Department uh, supports the Second Amendment and the armed citizen. Bukula says the city manager knew about that line. Shortly after that, Burns came into my office chuckling quote, we'll probably get some complaints about the last line. He says he was told to resign or be fired. The bottom line, open carry was allowed by law. If I had stepped in and tried to stop this, I would have violated the Constitution and the city of Lowell would have been set up for a major lawsuit. I lost my career for standing up for the First and Second Amendment rights. He and his attorney, Catherine Henry, say they want an apology from the city of Lowell. First of all, acknowledging that Firing someone for defending the Constitution is a mistake on their part, unequivocally. And a public apology needs to be made. The city manager declined to comment on Thursday. Bukala says he isn't necessarily looking to get his job back. So there's at least three people on the city council that don't want to see me back. And if that's the situation, I don't, I don't think I can come back. Bukala served as a police officer for 27 years, the last seven as chief. In Lowell, John Hogan, 13 on your side.